Before there was soil, or sky, or any green thing, there was only a gaping abyss of Ginunga Gap. This darkness lay between the homeland of elemental fire, Muspelheim, and the homeland of elemental ice, Niflheim. The flames from Muspelheim and the frost from Niflheim moved ever closer and they eventually met in the abyss. As the ice began to melt, they droplet themselves from the mirror, the first of the giant kind. Emir was capable of reproducing asexually, and as he slept, the sweat from underneath his arms found two more giants. A third was later born, creating the first family of giants, known as Yotams. From the ice emerged a cow named Abdumla. Her milk would nourish Emir and the other giants, and in return, the cow would be nourished by the blocks of ice. Abdumla licks uncovered Bori the first god of the Aesir tribe. Bori would have a son called Baal, who would marry Besla, the daughter of the giant Baltron. They later had three half-god, half-giant children. We know them as Odin, Vili, and Vey. Odin and his brothers were concerned of how quickly the giants could reproduce, as they severely outnumbered the Aesir. The three brothers decided that their only option was to slay Emir and they waited the giants slept before they began their assault. With all the strength, the brothers were able to overpower and slay Emir. The blood which spouted from Emir's body formed rivers, and these rivers drowned all but two giants. The surviving giants burgled me, and his wife fled into the misty land we now know as Jotunheim. The word as we know in Norse mythology was created from the remains of Emir's body. Odin and his brother dragged Emir's body into the abyss, and the Nine World was created. His blood formed the rivers, his flesh and muscles become the land, and the vegetation was formed from his hair, clouds from his brains, and mountain from his bones, and his skulls Form the sky. Emir's skulls would cover the entire new world, and God placed sparks from the Maspelheim inside the skull, and this would be illuminate the world as the stars. They build as God on the plains in Idaho, and his became the home of the God, far away from the Jedi where giants were allowed to live. The god eventually formed the first man and woman from the trunks of two ashes trees. These were to live in the Midgard, and the offense was built around to protect them from the giants in the jungle. Warps were formed when Emir's body began to run. The worm which crawled out of the remains become dwarfs. These gods become worried. The emir's rotten body would cause the sky to fall. They sent four dwarfs, one in each direction, that hold up the skies. These dwarfs were named after the cardinal directions. Nordy for the north, Soundy for south, Vesti and the West, and the Osti for the East. Their main dwarves made their home on the ground in caves located when the sweat and heat. This was a man who had two children, so bright and luminous, that named them Sol and Marn. These gods were engaged by the man's arrogance and so they took both on the children in the sky. They would become the sun and the moon. The Norse myth of creation is one of has many conceptual meanings behind it. One of the most prominent being that light comes from the death.